Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for mid-April. And also I'm going to leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. And um, this reading is intended for sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you have any of those in your chart, might actually resonate with you and um by the way if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community subscription is free you can unsubscribe anytime you want all right guys let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way before i start i see here a path opening has some time though it's not right away but there's a hangman right here hangman can be the energy of pisces this can be someone actually maybe standing back right now not taking any steps towards you or maybe a situation is a pause something that you really want to happen can can be a travel by the way a path here an opportunity is not coming forward because there is something needs to be healed here, okay? There is something that needs to be healed. There, there is something that needs to be completed. This can be a completed um, paperwork. Doesn't have to be initially like on experience. Can be you completing a paperwork or getting some things done. And afterwards, the things would be moving on. Or maybe even like a communication that you need to connect with someone here the communication lines are showing maybe in order to complete this thing you need to um, contact and talk to someone that you haven't been talking to for a while i see in your heart there is actually an eye showing here this can be something that you have your eye on doesn't have to mean that somebody is looking at you because it's not really appearing as an evil eye. It looks like an anatomical eye here. Can be someone actually um, like you are maybe going after a goal. You have something in your mind. You want to make it happen. But right now you're only uh, watching it from afar. And uh, which is okay because it seems like it is. Th there's not much clarity about the situation. Okay. The path is not clear, so it is better to wait for the path to be cleared from before taking action here. There's a actually like a horse or I mean, yeah, in the middle of a path. This can be this path, a short little path that you're going to be traveling or maybe you're setting off to a new course, um, changing direction is actually going to be, end up being your heart's desire because it's not clear what it is yet number eight is visible eight indicates richness consistency also karma giving and receiving and um, material satisfaction okay so this is a path opening in front of you you don't know where, which way it goes you are following it but at the end it is it has this uh, material satisfaction waiting for you okay and then the eight shows up like you're gonna go through the whole timeline this is a 12 number 12 we can interpret it as um 12 weeks 12 days 12 months um can be that time period after the time period the things are gonna start rolling in the money is gonna start rolling in it seems like here there's a weird pattern i see this looks like someone's like curly hair and i see there's a fish on a stick here fish usually symbolizes material things money and there's a sword right next to it and there's a person standing right next to it okay sword usually means communication there might be like a fish a money an opportunity that you can reach but it you have a distance in between and the distance will be closing with communication so you need to be calling the people uh, sending a CV or like getting in touch with the right people in the right time and um, you know like maybe even not even waiting for the right time because it seems like it's happening right away it is waiting for you to take action to come to you okay it's turning towards you this fish 
right after that i see a chunk of money it seems like this is a gift because i see a lion here a leo delivering it to you and also there's a wolf wolf can indicate families so this can be probably delivered to you by a family member someone in your family is handing this to you maybe bringing it to you and like someone that you're close to is going to uh, help you to receive this gift whatever it is um also i see the person's face here you can see they have this like big hat on top of their head this can be someone with great connections um also the hat can symbolize their authority they have access to many different things so this access how is that going to be working out for you they're probably going to um you know use that resources that they have in order to get you this gift okay this chunk of money can also indicate um maybe a loan that you're going to be getting a scholarship that you're going to be receiving and this can be the p person who has the right connections okay um, because the wolf and the lion lion can indicate this person can be a leo and the wolf can indicate being a family member because wolves travel in families they're the wolf packs are actually families okay i see there's another person smiling here so letter c appears in his name this person can be someone also feeling very happy when you receive this gift okay there's a seahorse kind of like an animal the head looks like a real horse kind of like a pony the body looks like a seahorse this can be a male figure who is very loving and supportive a uh, male uh, the seahorses the male ones give birth so this can be someone who's actually feeling a lot of protectiveness towards you like nurturing love and um they're showing up here and there's a keyhole by the way like the person that is smiling also there's a one person supporting you this can be family members coming forward okay uh to help you out the keyhole can indicate a new home a new movement because i see legal paper this can be a new contract that you're going to be signing maybe you're going to be renting out a new apartment if that's in your plans okay let me see what else we have here mm -hmm. there's a horse head this kind of looks like a cow as well that indicates fertility uh you are an earth sign and you are taurus so cow can actually be your like a spirit animal like their growth and they just the the old resources that they provide the taurus is a very resourceful um sign actually king of king of pentacles queen of pentacles and you're creating many of them i see there is a male figure with a hat can be a legal authority reaching out to you from another person here um so this can be like um something that you applied for maybe that you're not getting the answers from but i see here there's an older gentleman and an older lady so this can even be about something retirement i don't know if you're going after retirement at this time or maybe saving aside or put you have put aside your retirement or something like that um can be paying off or also even if you're young you might have put some like um money on the side for retirement and stuff like that there might be like a value coming forth for that increasing that okay because i see a couple here uh, this can also be finding a lifelong life long partner and maybe going to this authority to bring you all together okay because i see a roof right here roof can indicate that maybe a house that you're going to be buying with this person or moving into this um in this under the same roof with this person okay I see there's a male figure with a top hat he's taking his head off this is probably what you actually do here they're going to be respecting it a lot somebody is going to be actually like appreciating and respecting what you have done here a lot that's why they're tipping their hat off to you okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be for that all right now i see there's a half moon in your heart in your desire actually coming 
However, you see like the progress is step by step, okay? It's not happening like tomorrow. It requires you to take some steps. It has some steps in itself. That's why it has a progress basically inside of it, okay? I see another bird here, the woodpecker. Okay, this is like a very hard working bird. So, but uh, there's the second desire coming forward. It is appearing first faster than the first one that you have, as you can see. The woodpecker tends to, um, I think they do um, create their own, you know, place in a tree. So this can be you actually starting to create your own space, own place, wherever you are. This can be at work and a relationship or maybe even um, getting a house, a home, establishing yourself to a place that you will feel fulfillment. I see there are two people coming together and there's um, like a romantic close up here. Um, if you have someone in your life, maybe getting closer with them is the thing here. Or uh, this can be another like a per new person showing up here that you're going to have maybe a conversation and communication with. Also, I see inside of this protection bubble, there are letter S twice. Sammy, Samantha, maybe you are inside of this bubble you have a thought bubble on top of your head you have a beautiful thought or maybe an inspiration and you're following it and it might require you to walk out of your comfort zone and you might be feeling like oh what's gonna happen if i go out you don't know what's happening but you have a protection bubble surrounding you which actually indicates that you this is like a divine guidance probably this thought that you have when you follow it, you're always going to be protected and you're probably going to be meeting with different types of people as well. This doesn't have to be something major. This can even be changing your regular route that you go to work or um, the way you do things regularly. Uh, it can be like changing the small things in your life. However, it will actually put you in a situation or in an environment with very light energies, very light characters okay i see there's a question mark right here this has some time still with the number eight it's merging here like i said the number eight was showing here the material satisfaction so uh it is aligning the same time here so you might have to maybe in order to manifest that wealth into your life solve a problem for someone okay I see there's a screen here. It's appearing on a screen. This can be something that you're going to be doing remotely. Maybe you don't even have to travel to where it is. I see there is actually a shark swimming towards you. So what you do can actually create a network because I see some branches growing towards you and there's a bird on one of the branches. The bird can indicate that the news are going to go out there when you do this very properly and it's going to become something amazing that's going to be like um going word of mouth is going to bring a lot a lot of return back to you the shark swimming towards you can be someone coming to offer a partnership maybe give you the minimal expenses and and take the most of the stuff so it's in your consideration here it's in your free will so if you would like to have some extra but give the control of the things to another person you might actually take that offer um, however if it doesn't sound reasonable maybe you can do what you do the best and keep um, growing what you're doing, okay? I see another here, seahorse. Like, there are actually two of them. So this can be a, definitely a father figure in your life that is going to appear and maybe give you the hand and, um, and give you a help uh, in the situation and maybe, like, uh, even give you a very good advice so you can, you know, grow gradually and um, maybe even multiply the things that you have in your in your hand okay there's a beautiful ship here this can mean a new adventure coming forward and this adventure is not related to any of those things that we talked about this can be something that you are wanting to do for a while maybe travel go see some people 
and also like travel somewhere overseas or somewhere that is out of your usual environment to you know relax a little bit and get some inspiration okay let's see what we have here oh lovers there you go perfect love lovers card also means gemini energy so having a choice if you are manifesting a choice at this time for sure that is going to be presented to you and um, also if you have a situation in your hand you're feeling like that is actually not going anywhere you're going to be given some choices okay another thing i have here with the lovers this can be a soulmate connection that is going to appear in your life and with the justice card here this can symbolize actually you um like having a legal uh, accomplishment another thing with the justice this can be indicating of a marriage because marriage is a legal contract maybe if you find the love of your life you might start to step into the you know that environment that um create that beautiful thing for yourself and with the three of swords this can be a healing experience for you maybe you are already going through a heartbreak now that you had experiences in the past and they didn't work out but this time you're gonna start to see the lessons in here okay and i had ten of swords here so you know what i see here it can be like a self-sabotaging moment okay while you're having everything, everything is going good. This justice card can also symbolize you actually um, having a good job offer, like upgrading on a legally on a different level. You might have a heartbreak and some sort of like uh, ten of swords is actually like a desperation and going into the mode of like uh, moving away from something eventually. Okay, uh, so what we have the nine of wands nine of wands symbolizes having your boundaries up okay not uh, letting them people cross you and maybe this is happening back to back here the energy is coming here like this because you um you might have, tend to have like a self-sabotaging things but the life can be going that direction because you don't have strong boundaries maybe you have a preference you want to do certain things in a certain way but because you don't express them you do not have your boundaries up this might actually create this wounded warrior situation for you okay so whoever that you're dealing with and if that's not the case if that's not that's not the space for you but it seems like that's that's where you are you are at where you need to be right now so but the heartbreak can be coming from like something that is not completed in the past and maybe the there is a lesson that hmm, cannot make this up there's a lesson that you should be learning at this point i said we have the prison wave wife wave um self-sabotage poverty consciousness okay so the things are working out very well for you okay i'm not gonna hold back from that the things looking very good you're getting great advice great support however there might be some of the self-sabotage and power to consciousness which is common in nowadays because even if you do not did not get um, traumatized by your parents the only, the only thing you need to do is just watch news to get traumatized okay and um, watch news and see that you're getting uh you know bombarded with this all these negativity in the world and uh, that might create the self-sabotage and power to consciousness within you um, but there's a solution. Let's see what the message says here for you. When the prison wave arrives in his realm as your ally, he comes to remind you of the law of paradoxical intent. Your own self-sabotaging thoughts and hidden beliefs are in fact preventing you from highest good. You might believe that you're doing all you can to manifest your reality, but perhaps you're giving in to thoughts such as following. I can't do this. I'm not worthy. I will fail, so why try? I don't deserve this. I'm unlovable. In fact, you are locked in a prison of your own making. That's good news because it means you have the key to let yourself out. This is a sign that you need to spend some time with yourself addressing those beliefs that counter your hard work to get ahead. You can change them if you want to. You don't want to stay in prison, do you? Take inventory of your thoughts, let yourself out of jail, and spend a few 
minutes outdoors in gratitude. It's time to let the sun shine in, okay? So this is perfect. Um, I didn't know why I kept saying self-sabotage, but it seems like there's some. So, you know, get yourself out there. Try to spend some time in the outdoors. Let's see what we have as an oracle message and, um, from um, Abraham Hex. But those truths is the true truth. With enough attention to anything, the essence of what you have been giving thought to will eventually become a physical manifestation. And then as others give attention to it, they help it expand. In time, this manifestation, whether wanted or not, is called truth. Deliberate creation is about deliberately choosing those experiences. You make your truths. Okay? So it's very clear here. Like, you can actually experience this amazing scenery here. Beautiful love, accomplishments, legal success, the justice being served. You're feeling great about everything. Or you can go ahead, you know, feel uh, threatened and upset, maybe defeated and heartbreak, okay? The can, can, both of them can become your own truth, but you need to make a choice here. It seems like there's free will involved in your situation, okay? Right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.